Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Arise. In the last session, we arrived in this lush area. We explored the city and met the Lord and uh, learned all about what's going on here in a much nicer place than uh, we have previously seen in this world. And uh, we are now following a cat and it's looking like we're about to face a boss because that's the only time that these healing like things ever usually appear. So. Let's see how we do. I'm a little bit worried because obviously the last major boss we fought was the second lord. And that went poorly. We were very underleveled. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia oh, is... Ah, the hell? Is that a Zoogle? Oh, uh, good. Shoot. <laughs> Everyone, be careful. Well, let's see how this goes. Level 23? Oh my god, man. Less whining and more fighting, say. Yeah, yeah, I got you. What? The enemy is over there. How are you supposed to hit it? Damn it! I can't get close enough to hit the main body! Let's start by taking out the tentacles! And let the marksman handle this! Holy shit, that hurt! Well, there's one. So those are Dan and Astral Arts. Huh. Something you want to say? Not so long oh, as you keep them pointed the toward the enemy. Oh, Here I come! 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 This one's almost done. Well, guess I'll get fucked because I can't see what it's doing. That's really good, isn't it? It's just hanging over my head and slamming down randomly, and I have no way of looking up that high to fucking avoid it. Then we'll take them down. Here I come. Try harder. Not again. You're mine. You're finished. able to see that was coming. Fight the main thing now. Here's the evil. Take this. Freeze! It's in the sky, it's mine! It's over! 
going. Armor won't save you. Well, that was a weird boss. Say no more. But whatever, we first tried it, so it's fine. Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Looks like it's not done leading us yet. Well, it's about to be. <laughs> because we just had a boss fight. And when you have a boss fight, that means you're at the end of an area. Usually, at least. Everyone's Are we being watched? One piece? Like, that, was a, that was a someone's watching us glance, right? I hate camping out. Yo, same. Was this where, was this where we came from? Yes. Beast tail. I don't suppose you've got anything new, like instantly after we finish that. <laughs> no. Well, let's rest up. Get our stuff back. Yeah, that was like, kind of weird because, like, it was so much in the air and you couldn't really see Should what was happening. Should we really be lighting a campfire in the middle of a forest? You scared of starting a fire? As long as we put it out thoroughly afterwards, we'll be fine. Really, it's a good thing to have a fire here. It'll keep the Zoogles away. Have you both forgotten what we've come out here to do? I'll let them relax, Shion. It's good to unwind every now and again. <sighs> if you say so. It's so funny to see... Like, the camera pointing at Rinwell, Rinwell's mouth moving, <laughs> but it's main main dude. What's his name again? I forgot his name. It's just gone. But it's main dude that's talking. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, right. Did we have anything cooked? I don't think we did. We ran out, right? Uh, sure. Elemental defense up. Why not? Good. This came out just the way I hoped. I feel like we've just had a big dungeon there. So we're probably going into a story bit, so I'm not going to use anything too crazy. Uh, no one wants to chat. Well, that sucks. Shion, could we talk a moment? Why does nobody want to chat? Bro, you can just hug. He doesn't feel it. It's fine. I think it's time we go to sleep. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. This had better not all be for nothing. Indeed. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? Whatever you say, I guess. Let's follow. What have we got in here, then? Is it more dungeon, or is it story time? Kind of looks like more dungeon, but... Oh, hello. We are being followed. Oh, you know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. Well, in law, not to brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's got the moves. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. Are we really having two boss fights in a row? Oh shit, we really are. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? We, we, broke the we need to have Law charge his fucking move so that we can break her. Shield. Glad you have your 
you how you feel like you feel. She's got a lot of fucking health. Are we really supposed to take that whole health bar down? That seems kind of crazy. Lore, can you please charge your shit faster? Uh oh. Did she just she just went into overcharge? Get back! Get back! She just went into overcharge! Okay, she's out of it now, right? Uh oh, uh oh. Run, <laughs> run. Stay away from my friends. Holy shit, Lord just died? How did that happen? Uh oh, get away again. Man, Lord, you gotta fucking learn to dodge me. It's not hard. There's one person. Man, she's not even down a quarter? This has got to end when she gets to a quarter or something, right? This is just such a long fight. <laughs> it's not ending. Maybe when she gets to half copium? <laughs> I just can't believe it would make us do this in her entire health bar. It's just such a long health bar. It's crazy. Holy shit, Law, you're dead again, mate. Rinwell dead now. Oh shit, that's me. I thought I was her firing up again. Can't risk losing the uh, losing the Mystic Arc. Gonna pop it a little early. I did a decent chunk of damage. Run away! Run the fuck away! Here. I'll be saving this one. 
Holy shit, we're already out of it. Did I not just refill? Bruh. Let me help. How much how much fucking CP are you blasting through? Holy shit, is that a half health finisher? Okay, we it was a half health finisher. Okay, I was I was right. I originally thought quarter, but I knew it couldn't be the entire health bar. That would be mad. <laughs> What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. Oh. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Hello? Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You Don't think we've seen this other? dude before? Hello, brother. Ah. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait, Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. Your sister's hot, mate. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. Banter! He took off after that. Is that true? Well, that is what we came here you to do. You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Bro, just hear him out. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphaned children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? He just told you he didn't. I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes, Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. What about All the of them are contained within Darkness. every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What? What? 
What the? Is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what That can't... Miguel... When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Lau were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. Interesting. None too surprising either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. Who's they? I Who's tried doing to this? warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot, just a cover-up? Who by? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. <laughs> Is this another rebellion group? They have their own name for it every, everywhere we go. There's a new group with a new name. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. Meow. Meow. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Dohali may be a wonderful person, but in the end, He's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's important. Oh, what? He gets lord replaced Dohalim even? Sees the light. Oh. I didn't think it worked like that. I you thought... really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. How do they choose who gets the lordship then? I thought it was just like these five people. Well, I guess, yeah, because the last one did get replaced here and he came in. Hmm. Because, yeah, it's the, the winner to become sovereign, but then what happens to the other four? I kind of assumed that the losers would keep, would just keep on being the rulers of their places. 
but I guess not. Hmm. Nice to see you. Lagil, so you've been working with Migal all along. Hmm? You know each other then? Yeah, you could say she and I go way back, though I haven't seen her since we founded the Gold Dust Cat. Just what are you doing in your little gang anyway? Exactly what Miguel told you. We're trying to uncover the truth of the conspiracy plaguing Ben and Sia and, the, and save those caught up in it. Hmm. It's funny how life turns out, huh? We used to compete for Miguel's attention, only for you to get picked to join him in the guard. I used to really envy you for that. But how the tables have turned. Now you're at odds with him and I'm the one who gets to help him out. Everyone has to grow up sometime, Lagil. Huh? Maybe so, but that doesn't mean having to turn your back on who you used to be. You've changed, Kasara. I... I heard about Miguel's plan to assassinate Lord Dohalim, how he ran when it failed. I searched for him to get answers, but he never showed his face to me. You'd figure if he wasn't guilty, he wouldn't have run away. <laughs> but he did, and it's because he's a coward. A coward who betrayed me and Menencia both. Wait, are you still on the side of he... Are you, are you dumb? Are you stupid? After all that, you expect me to just believe it's all some conspiracy and let bygones be gut bygones? Yes. Seems very believable in this world. Kasara, settle down. I understand how confused you must be, how doubtful of your brother. But we're doing all this precisely to keep that dream alive. Please trust us on this. Hmm. You've seen what sort of shape Miguel's in. He won't say it, but time's running out for him. Can't you put your differences aside and talk to him as siblings again, like you used to, just this once? You're right. Maybe I should. I'm sorry, I really talked your ears off, haven't I? Must be a lot to take in all at once. You're welcome to rest here for today right. if you like. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that. <gasps> Magal. I'm surprised they did two boss fights back to back, but that second one with uh, Kasara was a lot better than the first one. Uh, livestock's already reached maturity? God damn, that was fast. God damn. Sorry to keep imposing on you, Lagil. As far as the rest of the society is concerned, you're an insurgent. Setbacks are inevitable. Are you worried about Kasara? Don't worry. I'm sure she'll understand someday. Yeah, you're right. Hello. Uh, wow, that's pretty big, huh? Would you like to stay the night? I mean, I would, yes. I assume I can still explore this place after, right? They wouldn't lock it off, nah. Wait, shit. I'm walking out? No, 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 no. <laughs> Are they actually going to lock it off? I'm going to be pissed if I can't go back in. I'm going to be real pissed if I can't go back in. What are we doing? Huh? Uh huh? Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. You literally yawned while you said that, my dude. You're tired now. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? It feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. That x-ray vision working well for you, is healing. it? That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. Damn, you couldn't have just given me that tiny bit more to begin with, huh? <laughs> I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? 
That's... kind of hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the blazing sword anymore. Bro, don't lead with that. Obviously. Don't lead with her being useful because of an item. But more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... <sighs> anyway, it's necessary Bruh. so we can fulfill our promise. Right? When do they get to hug for fuck's sake? W right. Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. As if you ask if she's okay Sleep and then well. immediately say you're going to bed before letting her respond. <laughs> Bruh, this is so hard to watch. Him just fucking things up. <laughs> I could do a much better job if I was him. What am I doing? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. All right. Nice, we didn't get kicked out Guess of Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? I know he said it's necessary, but... Are we sure Miguel's plan is a good idea? Seems I it. mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Miguel is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really Bruh. don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. I can't believe she's still on that I can't bring myself to trust a Renan train. When, like, you've been working with Jean for ages now. So let me ask you something, Rinwa. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <laughs> Not that owls are any better. Hmm? <laughs> ah, ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! <laughs> Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... 
Uh, well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Oh yeah, can't admit Either to way, liking animals. That would be just insane. It, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! I was just working as a chef, but something seemed off about the ingredients I was using. All I did was ask around about it, and that same night I got attacked by Zoogles. You too, huh? I was working in the palace and spotted a, sus a suspicious figure in the pantry. I tried to call out to them, but then someone hit me from behind. It was a serious brush with death. Neither of us would be alive if Miguel hadn't saved us, huh? Heh, that's a good boy. Ah, uh, I'm not just playing, this is training, honest. Aw, they're so cute. Treat! Look at them. Look at the little kitties. Where's the pet the kitty option? Game, I require a pet the kitty option. Unacceptable to not have one. What is this? Some old ass communication thingy? Anything hiding around here? Nope. Okay. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Really? That was fast. Wait, that one's not. We'll wait for them all to be done before we set new ones, I guess. Wait, so what are we doing right now? Return to the Sint. Ah, okay. <sighs> How glad I am to see you. Hmm? Why? What's up? I have something to give Kisara. Hmm. But she's a little hard to reach, so if you wouldn't mind, uh... Hmm? Oh, right, because you'd have to approach the palace to see right. it. Sure, we'll see, she, we'll see it gets to her somehow. Thanks, I really appreciate it. As for the big plan, just wait for Zare. She'll deliver a message when it's time. Right. Got it. And we'll make sure to prepare in the meantime. Sorry to keep adding to your plate. Old bracelet. An old bracelet filled with lots of memories and cherished by its owner for many, many years. Hmm. We've reached our destination. Did that fucking other thing just, seriously, just then reach maturity? God damn it. Uh, are we going back to the palace? Yeah, okay. Would have been real nice if it had reached maturity, I don't know, like 10 seconds earlier? Hey, girl. Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet... Is that my brother's? You tell me. Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Igal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Miguel trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? 
I try. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Miguel's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. So, anyway, want to go get a drink? There's a great little yeah. pub down there. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. Do you want to come spend an evening? <laughs> Whilst I simp. Do it from you? No, you're just a general store. Uh, no, there's no. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's Zare. Hold on, she's got something tied to her collar. It's a bomb. And that was the end of the story. Oh, she left. happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Sounds good to me. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Megala. Let's hurry to the quarry. I assume we didn't pick up anything from... Oh, no, we totally did. Wait, no. No, that's the one we already have. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't pick up clay fragments, we didn't pick up astral mass, and we didn't pick up an inferno fang. Well, shite. Shizer. Um... Would it be wise to craft uh, earth damage minus 50%? Possibly. One for all of us. Oh, I thought these would be the same. Oh. To do resistance forty. Sure. And does anyone have any earth spells? I don't think they do, do they? Well, let's have a look actually. Oh Shion Sheik. Maximum AG up. That's very good. Uh, increased BG at battle start. That's very good. Increased boost gauge from enemy down. That's very good. Man, there's so much fucking stuff here. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track of what I actually want. Oh, right. She has this amazing stuff. Yeah. Faster AG recovery is probably next, right? One thousand two hundred, one thousand five sixty. Ah, this is a more expensive of that, so I should get that one first. Six forty. Can't afford any of that. Hmm. Strengthened magic charge. Let's go with that. And for you...
It's gonna be fast AG recovery for you as well. Hey, isn't that it? looks pretty good. Um, right. So, uh, arts. Do you have anything that is earth? You have a bunch of wind. You have wind, water, and lightning, and one light thing. Oh, that's an over limit. Hmm. Good. So, no earth. Let's just give her one of the regular ass ones then. Then we enhance these ones. Uh, well, actually, water damage up. She could have that, I guess. It's a whole lot of level one shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we don't care about level one stuff so much anymore, huh? Seems good. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So Oh yeah, how's this going? Swallow Blade, we're at 920 out of a thousand. Cool. I, I'm never going to take Swallow Blade off, and we'll see if we can hit five stars by the end of the playthrough. <laughs> but like, we're about to, I think, end the third area out of five, which would be like over halfway. Although there's probably more after the five lords, I guess. I don't know, but like, I'm using it constantly in fights, and we're still not even at the third star out of five, so I don't know about that one. I'm pretty happy with what I've got, to be honest. Do I have... Oh, I do have a third thing. Hello. Uh, what's Luna Rondo? A spinning slash that propels the user forward. Sure. Holy fuck, there's a lot of options here now. What the shit? Well... I'm happy with what I got. Uh, everyone is well into 20, apart from Winwell, who isn't even 19. Everyone is... Shion's almost 21 and Rinwell's still 19. What the fuck? How's that happened? Oh, right. I need to actually equip this shit. Uh, attack plus 15%. So instead, I equip... This. Oh, wait. It's not percent. It's just... Right. Well, I'll go with that so the attack doesn't drop too much. You. Uh, water and fire. You don't have water or fire. So for you, it's... Wait, I have two basic ones? I thought I had... Wait, oh. I already have some of these? I could have just... God damn it. Uh... Let's give you higher resistance, I guess. And then you have water damage, so I guess I'll give you the sick one. And then you... Uh, that's equipped, that's equipped. So I guess you get the basic bitch one. You do lose a shitload of resistance by doing that. But hopefully, negative 50% earth damage will make up for that. Because I've got to imagine he's going to be using a load of earth attacks. And I really should have put the light one on for the previous guy. So, yeah. That's the plan. Everyone's full health. SP is full. Let's see how this goes. I was expecting it to go straight into cutscene. Uh, oh no, we're meeting down in the mine, aren't we? Right, right, right. Yeah, down there. I forgot I did. I completely forgot.
Okay. Oh, he's here. Step forward. My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! It's me, bitch. Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! Bro. His Excellency's life is in grave danger. Kill them all at once. Bro, can we try and talk before we just get into a fight here? Wait. Oh, thank God. He's actually sensible. Stay back, Your Excellency. It's too dangerous. Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you. But, I suppose, we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. And we are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give Is this dude the, the dickhead? The time of day. I feel I like this dude's personally... the dickhead, right? Silence, Kelzalik. Kelzalik? I wish to speak with them. This dude's gotta be the fuckwad, right? Please. So are we You're not saying. going to fight the Lord? Did I just put everyone on... Did I just spend all that stuff it's on wind in there, and earth resistance and then we're not even going to fight him? Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. Man, I'm going to be pissed if we, <laughs> if I spent all those things and equipped all those earth tokens and then we don't fight the earth dude. That's going to be a real bummer. Razum Quarry. Right, well, there's the thingy. I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. <laughs> you befriended Kisara? Love that! Kisara's perk. Oh wait, she she's actually like part of the group? Guard Ignition. Instead of evading, Kisara prefers to guard with her shield and can even trigger some arts while guarding. Successfully guarding raises her morale, making any arts unleashed while guarding and resulting combos stronger and harder to block. Hell yeah! A Guardsman's Pride. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. We were How beating long have you, you been but you know. wielding that enormous shield. Ever since my first job as a guardsman, our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! Banter! Remnants from Hell. This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. 
like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. Or is it? Question it mark. Is. All okay, the it blood is. Blood stains <laughs> on the rocks. The still Well, what's air, bad about the here currently then? Stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Well, alrighty. Down into the mine we go.